Okay, so two parts, A goes to products, got the half-life. I want the percent unreacted after 900 seconds. So it's different than the previous problem. And then part B will do the rate. So for A goes to products, and this is going to be a first order. If you didn't know that, it's always a good one to guess unless we tell you otherwise. Uh, the percent unreacted. Let's write the first order rate law down. A over A naught equals e to the minus k t. Let's see what we have. I have t actually, 900 seconds, so I've got t. k, I don't have directly, however, I know that the half-life equals natural log of 2 over k for first order, and since I have the half-life, I can find k. So let me rewrite this. k equals the natural log of 2 half-life. So again, it's really common for us to give you the half-life, and the only thing you need to do with it is find k. So I can find k, I have t, I want the percent unreacted. Basically, I want this number times 100. Or, uh, so for example, if this number was 1 over, and then minus 100, let's see, I guess I should write that out. Percent, uh, unreacted, so that's the amount left over, it's going to be the A over A naught. This is the fraction left over, so initial minus the leftover A that still exists. If you multiply that by 100, it turns from a fraction to a percent. If you want the percent, this problem doesn't want it, but if you wanted the percent reacted, very similar, it'd be 100 minus A over uh, A naught times 100. So if you wanted the percent unreacted, first you multiply by 100 to get the percent unreacted, and then you subtract it from 100%. So whatever they ask you here, they want the percent unreacted. Uh, so we're going to do the top one, but if you ever need the bottom one, there it is. It's basically converting from fractions to percents. So you consider this a fraction of reactive, or left over. Okay, I'm going to raise that. All right, now uh, what I'm going to do uh, is just plug things in and solve. So I want that ratio. It's e to the minus ok. K is going to be natural log of 2 over 180. So e to the minus natural log of 2 over 180 times the time, which is 900. 900 is in seconds. The k will be in 1 over seconds, so the units will be great. And, and this is my answer, whatever that turns out to be. I need to multiply that number by 100 to change it to percent, because they want percent unreacted. So my answer will, that's the fraction answer, this would be the percent answer. Multiply by 100. So that equals 100 e to the minus natural log 2 over 180 times 900. Whatever that number is, that'll be a percent number here. Okay? That's A. B is a little bit different. B, I want the rate at that concentration. Well, the rate, you should go back to your rate law, KA. There's only two formulas for rate that you have right now. K times A, this is first order, so it's the first power. The other reaction you have for rate, or the other equation you have for rate, is the change in concentration or the change in time. Since I'm not given information about time in part B, I'm going to use this equation. If I was given information about time and two different concentrations, I'd use the other equation. So just use the equation that matches the information you're given. Uh, K is up there. Natural log of 2 over 180 seconds times... Uh, a is 0 0.50 molar. 
So the rate, whatever that calculates out to be, that'll be your answer. It's going to be in molarity per second unit.